Hey everybody, Dark Laser. So, I was scrolling through Twitter this morning, and holy shit, I saw this video that was Mr. Repsion had responded to, and it's about this guy named Billy the Fridge, and he is literally, literally victim blaming somebody. Like, he flat out even blames the victim for what this is. You know, when you take somebody in, uh, at a young age, and then say stuff like, oh, then, okay, I'm gonna point this out a little bit. Onesian's Twitter, I see new things that he is putting out there now. He's saying stuff like, oh, I'm not attracted to anyone under the age of eight. Bitch! Who are you lying to? Who the hell are you lying to? If you had, if you were attracted people 20 years older than you okay you had one one ex who you were with for like a week maybe a month you were with her for maybe a month and then <laughs> and then she broke up with you because she didn't like how you were and she was like 20 something she was like almost 30 something i think but still Come on, dude. Stop lying to yourself, man. Stop. At least own up to it. You know, at least Bill Cosby didn't fucking, you know... <laughs> at least he didn't fucking lie about it. You know, he took it like a fucking man and went to prison. You know, at least Bill Cosby was man enough to do that. To own up to it. You know... When someone takes allegations, alleged allegations, seriously, they don't go on a Twitter rampage and fucking try to throw out thousands of tweet, hundreds of tweets about how much of an honest person they are or how much they don't like underage girls or apparently if you think about that like that, then you're the sick one. Fuck you, dude. You're the one who fucking does it. We're calling you out on your bullshit. You know? We're, ca we're calling you out. You know, one healthy thing, one unhealthy thing. We are calling you out on your bullshit. And we have been doing that for years. It's just this one is no longer a regular Onesian drama. This is a legitimate thing he could go to fucking prison for. I mean, on top of the other things he went to prison for, or whatever. Kind of, ugh. My hair is growing back out, and I love it. My hair was so short. But no. Sorry, I'm gonna... One second. There we go. Sorry about that. The light was not on. Um, but anyway... Onesian, you're James, whatever. You see, you're just in disingenuous, dude. You're an obtuse, disingenuous, narcissist, douchebag. I think everyone's finally seeing that. All your little thirteen-year-old fans that you have, somehow, they don't see it because the way you talk to them. <clears throat> and then, to top it off, you're doing some creepy shit on fucking Patreon, and then the way you treat your patrons after they leave you? That's some bullshit, dude. First of all, it's against patron rules. It's against their TOS. And the way you treat people, and the way you talk to people, even on your Twitter, dude? Come on. Don't be, a, don't be an asshole. Don't be a disingenuous asshole. I stand with Sarah. I 100% am behind her. I'm behind all the women that he has hurt. And what we're doing right now is we are trying to get her... If I had the money to, I would support her on crowdfund. I would crowdfund her and support her. To get him to go to prison. And his wife. And yes, I'm using that properly because if they were uh, to actually do it... He has the money to go and get her the the you know, surgeries that she supposedly has gender dysphoria, which I don't believe. I've never believed it. 
So you can call me a fucking transphobe all you want to. I just don't believe her. All right? I don't believe one person. One person does not equal all. Thank you. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Uh, I'm going to be doing a Pokemon uh, Nuzlocke, which I will also have up today. And I will be doing a part 9 of Pokemon Gold. I will catch you guys later. Boop.